The best of the Dean Bundell Show is a misnomer. It infers that there is quality involved in the Dean Bundell Show. What this actually is is the least worst of the Dean Bundell Show. The most tolerable. This is the best of the Dean Bundell Show. On the edge. Uncle D, the Canadian ash man. Good morning, yeah. Uncle D. Yeah, I finally made it, boys. How you doing? How are you? I'm breathing. I'm, uh, yeah, I feel much better. I have some company with me. You do. You have two smoking hot babes with great bums. Incredible. Uh, so what, how did you start this, and what do you do? Going to college, man. I put up a website called Uncle D's Tight Jeans and stuff. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and stuff? <laughs> Is that really what it was called? Yeah, yeah, yeah the stuff you got to see when you join the membership. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought, does it really work out when you put yeah. a www in front of it? So I had to change it to touchyourtoes.com. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, i just been doing this through college, through uh, um, working at the... Just taking ma- mostly you take photo- erotic photographs of women's butts. Yeah, it's, girls are great asses and skin tight jeans, the latex, the spandex, the PVC. <laughs> are you wearing underwear? No. You're not wearing underwear? Are you wearing underwear? You are uh, Nope. Well, they're, no, but no, you're wearing but all you're wearing, latex, latex, right? Or, yeah, yeah. Get, get up to the microphone. What, 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 what's before? your name? Teresa. Teresa, how old are you? 24. You're 24. And you're wearing all rubber latex, super tight, and you got a latex cat mask on. Yes. Now, do, do, do you have a good butt? Uh... I don't know. Well, maybe you judge? guys could. Yeah, well, could. <laughs> let's have a look. Oh, wow. It's okay. That's I can't perfect. really see it because it's, well, it's black, right? No, you can't really perfect. see it with the black. That's perfect. Is it good? It's beyond good. Yeah, that's a good Yeah, one. that's perfect. No, no it's perfect. No you win. You won the prize. Is your bum sweaty at all? Are you sweaty? No, no, not yet. Do you wear this a lot? Not yet. No, not often. <laughs> and, and, and you brought a friend here too. And what is your name again? It's like a Home Depot or Rona or something. Riona. <laughs> Riona. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Riona's from uh, from from Ireland. Yes, yes, I am. And and uh, how did you guys get hooked up with uh, Uncle D, the Canadian ass man? He shipped me over. I'm fresh <laughs> off the famine ship. Really? Yeah. No, did you, did you did you send for it? You liked her bum that much? Did you know, you I, I seen I've her. Got at, a great ass. She does for like a for you a white girl. She's got see? a great butt. Yes, oh wow! Oh, 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 stop! She's got a good heart. Oh, <laughs> Wow. Stop it. Derek, Stop this it. is where it sucks to be blind, dude. Derek, yeah. Derek, come braille this and tell me if it's a good ass or not. <laughs> he can't read braille, but he can read boner. So, <laughs> so what, what's the name of your site? Uh, touchyourtoes.com is the main site. I'm still surprised people make money in this because of all the free stuff that's offered. Well, and then how do you get around that? That was going to be Again, my question. I'm dealing with a fetish, right? So yeah. not, not everybody's really going to be able to appreciate this. A lot of the hardcore wanting guys out there want the uh, What you know, do you do? Like, do you do web shows? Do you have your, your models do web shows? No, I do web web DVDs. Show? I have a DVD distribution out of a... L.A. through uh, Evil Angel. Um, yeah. Those guys that are into the hardcore will know who Buttman is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, John Stagliano. So he does all the uh, smother me stuff. So girls with big butts sitting on my head and tight clothing and all that kind of stuff. Oh, you're Hopefully, so lucky. It's tough. That's not <laughs> lucky. That's unfortunate. It's you don't fascinating. want someone sitting on your head. <laughs> no, that's lucky. Trust me, any of these girls can sit on my head. That's lucky. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. This would be a hazard of the job if you're taking pictures of asses. Is Have you ever been taking a picture of a girl's butt and you're like, Okay, hold Preparation, it. brother. Hold Preparation. It. You got to go to the can. <laughs> you got a Splendida or whatever it's called. What? Uh, a Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> you realize it's not new, so I'm never going to see that. No, but have you ever done that? Like you've said, hey, listen, you got to go. go uh, I told him to up. shave, you know. Actually, the when butt? I, well, well, Do you ever see butt? Do you ever see butt cheeks with hair? It's just when you were, if you're doing a thong shot or a bikini yeah. shot, you want to make sure that it's yeah. kind of the Brazilian things going on. No, that's but you ever, see, you ever see the butt cheeks with hair, like hair on the actual no, cheeks? No, because I screen these girls at photos. I don't want to see that. In, uh, no, but have you ever seen one no. in real life? What, what have you girl? seen all these asses? I don't know. Yeah. I just do you imagine. Need help screening, by the way. I do. <laughs> <laughs> need any additional screeners? Uh, Uncle D, the uh, Canadian ass man, uh, is here. Thanks for your time. Uh, touchyourtoes.com, the name of the site. And thanks to. Uh, Rihanna and uh, Judy for coming in. I, 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 <laughs> Riona, 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 Riona and um, Teresa. Teresa. <laughs> Thanks to the asses you brought with you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anytime, boys. Yeah, nice to see you. Thanks for coming, dude. All the best. Wow. That would uh, be a tough job to do. Uh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Put a website. You ever had anybody, yeah, you ever really anybody fart while they're doing it? Pass wind? I try you to have, turn my right? head before I acknowledge no, it. No, you have, haven't kills you? You've yeah. had someone yeah. pass wind. Yeah, like it's, not, not, it's not a pleasurable experience. Have you had anybody that just go back from Mexico do something bad? Not yet. Little Montezuma's revenge. I, I try to dim shot. the lights when I'm seeing that. Like just uh, yeah, slow that shutter speed down a bit. Little Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> oh, get a look. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> it hurts bad. I'm getting a bad feeling in my tummy. <laughs> I would be the worst. Yeah, I don't Wouldn't think you, I don't think you could do my job. I wouldn't want to do no. your job. 
Somehow all sexual appeal kind of goes out the window when you start talking about it. It's crazy. About farting and pooping? Yeah. yeah. yeah why yeah. are you doing this right now? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 can we just I'm, I'm, I am here. I am here. My whole job is to not just demystify it, but yeah. to crap on it. Yeah. Literally. My job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well uh, done. Thanks for coming in, dude. Nice to see you. Thanks. The Dean Blundell Show. The best of the Dean Blundell Show. On the edge. All right. Time for uh, we'll hop and Best Confession Wins. Hi, The Edge. Hi, I'm calling for what happened. Yeah, man. What's your name? It's Leisha. Hey, what happened? What happened? Hey, what happened? What is it you can't face? Well, this year at Sausage Fest, my boyfriend and I were walking around the pool area, and there was a woman squatting down in some really short shorts. This woman was probably 40, 50, not well taken care of. Um, so she was squatting, and everything was hanging out. Wrinkly, how 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 scary. far? Like if it was, you know, how far <laughs> was it hanging out? Pretty far. It really turned us off. We <laughs> it was so gross. Like no sausage could have prevented it, and no oh. buns could have helped. Sure was a fun time though, wasn't it? Probably. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I mean, I mean the, whole, the sausage the whole fest event. was sure a fun time, wasn't oh, it? Yeah, it was a great time. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Me too. We'll keep you posted. I, I, I will <laughs> yeah, see if we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on. Hi, the edge. Hello. I'm calling for what happened. Yeah, what's your name? Grace. Hey, what happened? I like that name, Grace. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Where are you calling from? Scarborough. You don't like the name Grace? Uh, I like the name Grace. It's a, it's a pretty name. It's, it is pretty, I know. Yeah. It's very pretty. Oh, do you know like a big girl named Grace or something? <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, to me, like every yeah. every girl named Sarah is a big girl because I know like I got a cousin that's massive. Oh. So it's like a big girl's name, Sarah. Anyway, sorry, Grace, go <laughs> ahead. Okay, so I ran out of the bathroom and my dog came and um, licked my leg and I noticed there was <laughs> on it. Thank you. Thanks, Grace. Thank you. Yeah, so graceful. <laughs> so graceful. So like, I got a recap because I had to take part of it out, but your do- you came out of the bathroom and your dog started licking your leg and there was um, some of a, a remnants of a visitor uh, on it. That's right. There you go. Hang on. <laughs> What'd I do there? How'd I do? Yeah, I think you did very good. a really good job. It's amazing. Yeah. She, someone on her leg, visitor. Yeah. It's like <laughs> evidence of a visit from her aunt. <laughs> a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Flow. Yeah. By the edge. Um, so I'll set the scene. A uh, guy doesn't even know my name, um, and I don't know his, and to be honest, I don't really care either. Uh, I'm in a oh, tropical place girl. outside of a bar. We went um, down kind of the side where there's cement stairs right in front of the ocean. Sure. We spent, now, we all have sex capades that, you know, we t- walk a little uncomfortable afterwards, but I had to do the walk of shame with full bruises from knee to ankle, both legs, a foot-long bruise down my spine, two bumps on the back of my head, and oh. both elbows scratched up. And that guy's awesome. <laughs> Who was this guy? I want to have sex with him. <laughs> I, <laughs> and he couldn't even see me because it was a one-night stand. He didn't even see how badly I was beaten up. Wow. But I had to explain, like, tell me, I couldn't even say that, you know, I got hit by a car or even beaten up because it wasn't on my face. Like, it was just the impact points. Now, you say this in a way where, like, like it wasn't... You enjoyed it, right? Was it traumatic oh, at absolutely. all? absolutely. Okay, good. Oh, he, he had permission. Absolutely. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I just oh, got yeah. worried for God. a second. I hope he had permission. Yeah. Well, she was comparing <laughs> it to a car wreck, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was nice, and then she, he threw me down the cliff at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, The Edge. Hello. Hi. Hey, who's this? Um, my name's Sarah Ann, and hey, Sarah. no, I'm not a fat girl. Okay, good, thanks. <laughs> well, you got an Ann in there, I didn't know. Hey, what happened? Hey, what happened? What happened? So, I'm sure you guys have heard of the Angry Dragon. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, the first time I ever decided to... Do that like, act? I ended up laughing for some reason, and yeah. it all came out my nose. And right <laughs> on <under> the <laughs> You said it, Dick. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Wow. Oh. All right, I get it. Yeah. I don't know who. The Bruce chick or the angry dragon girl? Uh, Grace? I know. No. No, what no. about the, the dog? <laughs> no, I don't know. Are you the dog lady? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you win. Oh, my God. Yeah? Just a re- Well... 
She came out of the bathroom. Yeah. She was have, it was her gentle time of the thirty day cycle. Um, remnants of her aunt. Yeah. Were on her leg, and uh, the dog. Uh, his dog yeah. stew. Yeah. I guess. Yep. You win. This is the best of the Dean Blundell Show on 102.1 The Edge. Time for open phones. Good morning. Hey, The Edge. Hey, yo, what up, what up? What's going on? This is Trom calling from Toronto. How you doing today? Trom, how are you? I'm good. It's Tron. It's Tron. Like, you know, like the movie with the fancy light. Yo, what I just said. That's yo. what I just well, said. Well, I heard an M. I heard an M. <laughs> Tron. <laughs> All right, so, yo, this is the deal right here. All right, I'm trying to get up. I got this crazy song I want to put for the, for the Dean Blundell show. You know what I'm saying? Bust me a beat, Dean. Come on. Bust me a beat, son. Son. Please, come on, man. Bust me a beat. I got this. Here, turn this up. Here you go. <laughs> we got a beat. Crank it up. No, crank this music. Up. Go ahead. Yeah, I try to keep it clean because I know that Dean is listening and it's my mission because I'm telling you that I got a minute. Take my brain for a visit. Is it exquisite? Yo, listen, Todd, I'm telling you these girls like we call them female dogs. I'm telling you when I'm playing my drums, it's Sabian. Look at the bright side. At least none of us are Adrian. Yeah, yeah I like that. <laughs> that, was good. that was not bad, dude. Pretty good, Tron. But if we gave you a couple topics, could you come up with some right now? Any topic, anything. I'll kill it right now. I like this guy. He's positive. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. confident. He's, I yeah, like I like him. the confidence too. Tron. All right, so let's uh, let's do a rhyme about uh, Derek's eating a bagel. Yeah, bagels and Twitter. All right. <laughs> yeah, Careful. Shh. Yo, I went down to the bagel shop, and this is exactly what I got. I got a bagel with cream cheese. You know, we eat that harder than Kessel Lupo and Commissaric. I'd like to chill with my boys, Dean, Todd, and Derek. I know how we do it. People thinking that they're bigger because they can tweet something on Twitter when they don't even got the balls to pull the trigger. I'm telling you how I roll because y'all smaller. I'm hitting heights that are bigger. Yeah, <laughs> well done. Man. Well done. Well done. This is cool. Usually we yeah. make fun of people like you, yeah. but I like you. Nah, nah, bring it on, man. Anything you're good. You want. Nah, Anything you're good. You want, I got you. Anything you, you know want. What, you know what I want you to do is I want you to shoot me an email. I'm going to put you on hold, and then I'm going to get your phone number, okay? I like that guy that was rapping. Yeah, Trom. Tron. Trom. <laughs> Trom. Trom. Rusty Trombone. Nah, Dude, nah, hi, The Edge. Not even, y'all. This is smoking, yo. I got Tron. I got Tron on lock. He doesn't really? even know how to talk. Okay, yo. do oh, it. No. We're doing a rap battle now. <laughs> Watching 30 Rock. Okay, hold it, hold it. Bring that music down. Bring the music down. I want so I want like a beat. You get a beat? Okay, what's your name? Smoking. The name's Smoking. You know how to do this? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, hang on a second. <laughs> I want to talk like these guys. Yeah, it's not hard. Okay, hang on. Smoking, you there? Smoking? Is that your name? Yo, yeah, yeah. What up? Yeah. Hey, DJ Tron, what up? You're on with Smoking. Yeah, what up, what up? Okay, <laughs> guys, the exact same guy. Yeah. yeah, what up, what up? Yeah, what up, what up? What up? I think what Tron up, just up, called up, on up, another up, line. Up. Okay, so here's the, de- here's the deal. You're going to do a little rap battle. We're going to start with Smokin' because he's new, then we're going to go to Tron, okay? Here you go. There you go. Smokin', it's uh, all you. Here we go. Yeah, we're starting it up. Let's do this. Yo. Yo, sorry. I heard your rhyme sound so scary. Too bad you got a small vocabulary. I came through, yo, you wanted it tough, yeah, but you didn't have to say enough, yo. Yo, you got that, you know you're rolling hard. When I come and rolling through your backyard, yo, you think you can roll on edge, dog? I'm rolling through your hood like I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. God damn, yo, I'm coming to flick. How that thing going like I am slick, rick, slick, rick? Nah, I'm coming harder than ever. I seen that sh- coming, you couldn't get it together. Yo, and if you like it hard, yo, that's right, you ain't listen to Tron, son. Yeah, that's what I be coming, yo, I be shaving off your foot. Oop. <laughs> you did already. No, you did good. You did all right. Okay, so we'll, we'll stop there smoking. That was not bad. Tron's good, though. Tron, it's yeah. all you. Go ahead. Have at it. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's hear it. Go. It's on. Break it up. Yeah. Yeah, yo, don't even try to come up and say you want to battle. It's like you that little girl trying to get up on that saddle. I told you I'm the farmer and I got all the cattle. Trust me, you can't even keep up with my speed. You still trying to figure out the difference between a want and a need. Chasing that fake crap like money, sex, and weed. I would never be able to care to bear the way to stir the fact I could retract or take that clear to face the fact that nobody wanted to feel my pain. I don't even care because I got everything to gain. You just want to be rapper and actor. I'll spit you a factor. I'll call your face out like the Toronto Raptors. That's the 
damn factor. Know how I roll. I'm out of control. You rap with your mind and I rap with my soul. That's my only goal. I'm colder than the South Pole. Call yourself smoking? I see you choking. Need a goddamn rope in because you still be hoping you could be a rapper like me. You just a fake actor and I tell you, you ain't nothing like me. Tron 1, smoking 0. In a parallel universe, it would be the worst of the Dean Blundell Show. But fortunately, we're on this side, where it's the best of the Dean Blundell Show. The best of the Dean Blundell Show. On 102.1 The Edge. This is your Edge. Hold it. Files <laughs> with Dean Blundell uh, on the edge. A uh, husband, his wife, and her lover have all been charged with conspiracy to commit bestiality after they use Craigslist to find a dog and uh, for the wife to have sex with. How the hell is a dog supposed to reply? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. LOL. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> really going to fully get in my ass off. <laughs> Woof <Really>? out loud. <laughs> W-O-L. <laughs> Uh, it's a weird story. A husband, his wife, and her lover have all been charged. 39-year-old Shane Walker and 34-year-old Sarah Day Walker. And she's hot, too. Like, you'd think someone that was looking to have sex with a dog would be on par with said dog. Mm-hmm. But this girl is hot. She must know something we don't. I guess so. Once you go dash hound, you never go back. <laughs> They described themselves as swingers in an open marriage. Sarah told her lover about uh, a month, of about a month, 30-year-old Robert Ocker. She wanted to have sex with a dog while he and her husband watched. Where do people go and go? You know what I would really like to see? Mm. I'd like to see uh, you two watch me have sex with Scooby-Doo. That's why I've been thinking about that for a while. <laughs> and how does someone get pleasure watching? I don't know. I know. Do you know what I've been thinking yeah. about for a while? Because I, I, I've been eating far too healthy. I've been thinking about pizza. That's what I think about mm. for a while. I don't think about having a four-way with a German Shepherd. Yet. Huh. That's a guy like the guys watching going, nah, my tongue does not move that quick. Yeah. <laughs> like what, Dude, what? Man, he Take must have notes. found some water in there. Because <laughs> he is cleaning that up right. <laughs> <laughs> they eventually golden shepherd they would allow Sarah to have sex with and email the dog's owner for three weeks to set up a meet and greet, if you will. <laughs> uh, what they didn't know is the dog's owner had no intentions of letting Sarah try out his dog's uh, tummy stick. He was actually an undercover cop. Sarah, Shane, and Robert were arrested after driving to the arranged location where the sexual encounter with the dog was to take place. <laughs> hey, we're here for the dog bang. They have actually cops patrolling these yeah, sites. They they have, they have, like that's another. They have, uh, this is how degenerate society is. They put police on internet dog sex bestiality yeah. pimp out duty, and then they, hey. then, yeah, the only thing worse than that is being on the bathroom public park bathroom duty. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, police said before the trio were informed they'd been set up. The undercover officer uh, and the detective had to take part. All three of the accused. What <laughs> offered? Uh, they had offered the undercover detective the opportunity to take part. They're like, hey, do you want to have sex you with us in the dog? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. And the more the merrier. All three of the accused have been released, uh, and they're going to jail apparently for some. No actual dog sex took place. Just let you know. Well, who knows what happened before? <laughs> I'm, just saying, well, I'm, I'm sure uh, it wasn't, wasn't her first time. It wasn't time her tried. first dog. Yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> and uh, meet Kevin Bran. 41-year-old in Florida after being stopped following a rear-end collision with another vehicle. The collision reportedly occurred just before noon. Keep that number in mind. Noon last Friday. Uh, the deputy observed the dude as uh, smelling strongly of alcohol. He had slurred speech and bloodshot eyes. Initially denied he was drinking, and then he fell over a couple times. You're like, really? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I've been drinking a little bit. And he was arrested for drinking and driving and damaging property. He was in place. This isn't the... This is just a regular thing. It gets interesting here. Um... Apparently, the deputy described the eventful trip to the jail, saying Bran both urinated and defecated on himself while in the back of the vehicle. Also not weird. Mm. The deputy goes on to write, The defendant had a sexual anus plug in his rectum, which he removed or it fell out in the rear of my patrol car. Oh. It's noon. <laughs> He's wasted. <laughs> 
It's apparently what these people do. He's got a butt plug in his rear end. And it fell out on the way. It fell out. Well, he defecated. Maybe it was just... It was like yeah. a cork. <laughs> <laughs> like a champagne Happy bottle. Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe he... I think blood analysis would uh, subsequently show brand testing positive for impressive blood alcohol levels of... Really? That's good for him. Four and five. <laughs> oh, <man>. Impressive. <laughs> now, uh, he's apparently going to jail for some time, and he actually had the balls to tell the police officer that... <laughs> He had no idea how it got there. Really? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. <laughs> but can I have it back? I need to protect myself now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because he would be no fun for the fellas in jail if that thing just fell out. <laughs> fell out. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Don't, don't. See this? It just falls out. Well, it's still not the size of a... <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Get that business over here. <laughs> It was your Edge Files, whatever the hell day it is, in March year 2012. Yeah! The Edge Files! On 102.1! The Edge! Edge! The biggest and the best! This is the best of the Dean Blundell Show on The Edge. If you know Frankie McDonald, he's from the East Coast. Uh, he does weather for us once in a while, and he puts it on YouTube, and he says hi to us all the time. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, when, when did we discover Frankie? At four or like four years ago? A three, long years time, ago? yeah, like that original earthquake warning video. Earthquake warning! And you totally discovered it, like nothing, yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did. Uh, thank you. Anyway, um, so... Look at this, uh, Frankie. Now, w- w- what are we? What is he predicting? Uh, apparently, Some apples. Apparently, a lot of apples are falling out of the sky in the UK. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Welcome to my show. My name is Frank McDowell. This episode is falling apples in the United Kingdom. Falling apples. What are the explanation for United Kingdom? <laughs> apples will be falling off the sky. Supposed to be falling apples off the sky because people have grown too many trees up in the clouds. Supposed to be really bad apples falling down the sky. Granny Smith, Macintosh, and all the other apples whoa, 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 falling whoa, whoa, down the sky. Whoa, 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 no, whoa. Did he say Granny Smith, Macintosh, and all the other apples? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Kingdom. People in the kingdom be prepared. Supposed to be a lot of apples falling down. Red, green, yellow apples falling down. People in the kingdom be prepared. Yeah. Have your buckets ready, have your baskets ready to, to collect a lot of apples. Supposed to be a lot of apples falling off the trees in the United Kingdom. <laughs> Because lots of apples are in UK. There's a lot of apples falling down the sky <laughs> in UK. <laughs> lots of apples falling out the sky. <laughs> Bouncing off the ground in the United Kingdom. It's supposed to be a lot of apples. A lot of apples. They don't mean they can homemade apple ciders. <laughs> <laughs> and all that apple pies and everything in the United Kingdom. It's supposed to be a lot of apple pies falling out the sky. It's an apple ciders. <laughs> Heavy rain with apple ciders falling out the sky. Yeah. Oh my god, oh. apple cider. Shh. <laughs> apples banging off my head. Boom, bang, 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 bang. Oh my god, look at those apples. Boom, 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 boom. Best of luck to you. People in the UK, apples are good for you. Good luck. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's how they discover gravity, you know. <laughs> that was a beauty. <laughs> oh, he gets he gets aggressive oh. there. Fall it up! <laughs> apple cider! Apple pie! An apple sauce! <laughs> You know that kind of Oh my god. <laughs> well, there you go. It purpose with that yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he meant it, didn't he? The best of the Dean Blundell show on 102.1 The Edge. Was that movie really out of focus? Did that actor really not have a face? No! It's the blind movie. 
Hi, Derek. Hi. Uh, how's the movie? Goon. Um, you know what? I think the the person that can that can best do this review yeah. is is Uncle Uncle D. Oh, cool. Oh, good. So just welcome Uncle D. Uncle D. Everybody. Uncle D. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, uh, Gene and Gene, whatever your name is. <laughs> Todd, right? Yeah. yeah. Goon is a movie that I went to and. I'm not feeling very good about it. Really? In fact, I'm feeling so bad about it, I wrote a poem to tell you how I feel about the movie Goon. Can I have some sad music there, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Jeff, Sean. Right, whatever. Oh, whore. All right. (laughs) This poem is called Disappointment by Uncle D. Disappointment. Uncle D is feeling it now. Not soon. Disappointment after going to see the movie Goon. (laughs) Disappointment. Like the other day when I tried to return an LP to the Eaton store. And when I got there, I found out (laughs) that star is no more. Disappointment. (laughs) Or when I went to my favorite horror house, finally, after healing my sores, only to find out they've run out of (laughs) horror. Disappointment. Yeah. But my greatest disappointment today, the one that made me say, hey, wait a minute was when I went to the Goon hockey film and there was no hockey in it. (laughs) Instead of fights, hits, and maybe a goal, all the film was about was a lady who pushed down a hole. She got pushed into the hole twice. There was no hockey in it. Dude, it's not... Disappointment. Disappointment. I haven't been this sticky and upset about something since the time I had a... One night stand with Aunt Jemima. <laughs> you know her picture on the bottle? Or from here up, yeah. she looks really good. Yeah. From here down, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> Disappointment. <laughs> Disappointment. To the Goon Film Company, whores, you folks can go lick it. I'm getting my money back for this ill-gotten ticket. Here, Toddy, you take that. All right. You take that ticket right there, and you... You, you help me get my money back What's for the gone? goon show. What's gone? What do you mean? What's that, huh? Gone. The movie Gone? Dude, you went and saw the wrong movie. Uh, goon. I went to Gone? <laughs> you went to... You paid... Gone. You went to the Rainbow Market Square. <laughs> yeah. And you saw Gone. I saw... <laughs> Well, it's got four letters. It yeah, starts with G O. It's a wrong movie, dude. It was about a girl who got pushed down a hole oh, no. a couple of times. She got, found herself down in a hole, and I thought, "Where's the hockey?" No wonder why. Was it metaphorical no, no, no. or something? She was in bad, so she went in the hole for five minutes or something. I, I don't know, but I'll tell you what, though. Yeah. The movie could have used some hockey. <laughs> Because as a hockey film, it gets zero blurs, but now that I know it's not a hockey film, it still gets zero blurries out of five, and that's the way I see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Blind Movie Reviewer! And here comes the best part. This is the best of the Dean Blundell Show on 102.1. The Edge. The Edge. This is your... Edge Hold it. Files <laughs> with Dean Blundell <laughs> on the edge. Dolly Moon. Here's a story. What guy's trying to quit smoking? So he got an electronic cigarette. Cigarette. Then he tried to smoke it and it exploded in his mouth, blowing his head off, and now he's dead. Yeah. Is that your edge file story? Yep. 57-year-old Tom Holloway using an electric cigarette in his home. The Vietnam vet 
Hey, he survives oh, Vietnam. Man. Can electric cigarettes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Vietnam vet stopped smoking a couple years ago. Use advice to curb his urge to pick him uh, pick up the smokes again. Eh? Pick up the smokes. On this particular day, the uh, device exploded in his mouth. His wife reported hearing a sound like a firecracker going up. For sure, wow. she heard her husband scream and gurgle. gurgle. The explosion knocked all of his teeth out, part of his tongue burning his face and oh. exploding the upper part of his palate. Does it plug into the wall? Uh, I think so. I don't know I don't anything know how of- a battery could do that much damage. Oh, they do, dude. It's really? super overheat. He must have been sucking on that thing like he was going to the electric chair. <laughs> or the electric cigarette. You know what? And, and I had a meeting with a guy that was smoking one of those electric cigarettes the other day. Yeah. You can't smell them. They're crazy. Oh, you have one? You have one right there? Chi. Chi's got one. <laughs> careful. Be careful. You know what that is? Oh, my God. So crazy! So crazy! <laughs> what is that? It's an electric that cigarette. That comes out. Yeah, my yeah, it is, isn't it? What is that? What is it? Is that fake something? It's a what's the vapor? Water vapor. Water vapor. Oh, you're wow. smoking water vapor. Oh, so that's what explodes. How does it feel? It feels so good. Oh, good. <laughs> it's like the real thing. Okay, good. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, the Vietnam oh. vet had his basically his whole face exploded. One of the officers responded to the home said it was like a bottle rocket exploded in his mouth. The uh, he later died. This along oh. uh, with a, he had an electri- Why electric that cigar. While you're That's funny. Okay. Smoking kills. Well, I mean, he's a Vietnam vet. The irony is crazy. <laughs> I know. He survives <laughs> Vietnam. He says series survived two bouts of cancer and a heart attack, and he gets killed by an electric cigarette. <laughs> Grenades, so like a- AK-47s, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Bombs. It's like a nah. gag gift yeah. gone wrong. Oh, a little tiny three-inch cigarette killed him. There you go. <laughs> Um, and Jose Ayala, I want you to meet this 36-year-old illegal immigrant. He claims to be uh, good with his hands, fortunate for the police, and a prospective employer, uh, employer. He wasn't demonstrating that skill. He allegedly showed up for a job interview completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> video here shows, I have the video, shows Mr. Ayala. It's his name, Ayala. Outside um, a welding shop boasting oh. what appears to be a very uh, big penis and a swagger. He's all cool. He's, he's doing the old, hey, I got the video here. This Let is a video. Yeah, this is a, it's it. all blurred out. Gather around, everybody. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's in the news. Completely in his birthday suit. Police believe he was high on meth. And when they tried to subdue him, things did not go well. This guy grabbed a female officer's oh. hair. Then everybody around him decided to jump in and help here. They're, they're trying to get it under control. And then he starts getting, <laughs> getting extremely rowdy. The female officer steps in. And then he reaches around. You can see him grabbing her hair there. On a serious note here, the man is an illegal alien. He's in jail on an immigration hold. Oh, and he's totally naked. <laughs> and he's wrestling with two cops. And it is the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a plot to me. It's like oh, one of those movies. He's also HIV positive. Oh. Police oh. have also contacted everybody involved in this video and suggested they get an HIV test. So I don't exactly know why that is. If there was blood involved during, you know, the arrest. Oh, that's a cool. Uh, what a what an excellent newscaster. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know is. why. Like what's they, going I didn't on. see them having test. sex. So, <laughs> I don't exactly know why that is. If there is blood involved during, you know, the arrest, but uh, it's like I'm totally like confused, but the I'm told like if maybe that guy slipped her the stiff one eye when she wasn't looking, or like the cop got a little on the. Um, all I know out of this is that if you're going for a job interview naked, wear a condom. <laughs> you're like, what? Yeah. Like, no idea what to say. <laughs> Guess what? Too <laughs> what? Didn't get the job. Oh, oh no! no. Didn't get the job. It looks it like a great here. welder. It's unknown, but it's believed he, Chris Johnson, the shop's owner, didn't give him the job. It was close. It was neck and neck. Who would ever weld naked? <laughs> the other guy had a college degree. A cr- Crazy who'd weld naked <laughs> or just, cook bacon. You wear naked. just a shield and nothing yeah. else. <laughs> hey, SA. <laughs> Those are your Edge Files. Server the hell day it is in March year 2012. The Edge Files on 102.1. The Edge. Check this out. The guys are on vacation, but you're still hearing them. Trippy, huh? I'll bet they'd be pissed if they knew. <laughs> This is the best of the Dean Blundell Show on 102.1 The Edge. Hi, The Edge. Hi. Who's this? Ooh. Samantha. Samantha, how are you? Good, you? Awesome. <laughs> I'm calling, wondering if you guys have any more, like, Foster the People or Edge Fest tickets, because I think I deserve them. And why is that? Because 
I was just dating a guy for eight months, and I found out that with some other girl. How old are you? I just, I'm 19. How old is he? 18. Mm. Oh, he's 18. Uh, this, this, this is going to happen to you probably four or five more times, so if I were you, I would just get used to it. <laughs> did he give you anything? Did you? Did you? Did yeah, you? he bought me. He actually bought me a gym membership. I don't think that's now what I, Todd's talking about. I think he's oh. asking. I think he's asking. Oh. Um, hint, it's hint, le- it's hint. more disease related than gym related. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, no, he didn't. He got you a gym membership because he wanted to tell you that it's from the sauna. <laughs> 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 you guys are awful. That's How did you find crazy. out? Um, I I had been curious about it and I asked him about it a lot and he wouldn't tell me. Finally, I messaged one of the girls from his school on Facebook and she told me about it. I showed him the messages, and finally he owned up to it after a long time. But you're still a bit crazy. I'm sorry. Why? <laughs> she went to Facebook to sir, to go oh, to the to girl like that. Yeah. No, I had I had to know. <laughs> I had knows? to know about it. it. I broke up with him though before I found out about it. I was done. With oh, but you had to confront him after. Oh yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter after <laughs> it does, if you broke up with him already. Yeah, it just let matter. it go. Yeah. And that's oh, what I, a that lot was, of women will do. That is that if they're not if they're both not with the guy anymore, they'll yeah. kind of team up and be like, "Yeah, he was a jerk," even though they were both fooling around yeah. them at the same time. <laughs> can, can you believe what he did to us? I know, <laughs> both of us at different times, mouth everything. But, but what are you doing later? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go for coffee and talk about it? Hi, the edge. Yeah. Hello, Dean Blundell. Yeah, how's it going, buddy? Good, dude. Who's this? It's uh, Danny. What's up, Danny? I need some advice. Mm-hmm. Um, I was recently with my girlfriend, uh, and um, her mother kind of uh, caught me giving my girlfriend a pearl necklace, Yeah, if you know what I mean, and uh, kind of got pissed off, kicked me out of the house and, wh- and whatnot, and uh, now my girlfriend's telling me that her parents want me to come over because they'd like to speak with me. I, I don't know. What should I do? Invite them over. Invite them over? Well, hold it. Do you, do you own your oh. own house? Yeah, yes, so they wanted they wanted to speak to you. Let's just get this story straight because you and your girlfriend were having consensual pleasure and you're both of age. Is that right? That's correct. And how long you been together? Uh, about uh, four months. Four months. And so you are uh, performing an act on your girlfriend wherein by which when she's finished, she looks like she has obtained some very pricey jewelry around her neck. That is correct. Okay. But it was in her parents' closet. It was in her parents' Well, you see, this is where you went wrong, sir. I, as a, yeah. as Why did you have digging. to go to that closet? Yeah. yeah. How many other closets are in that home? There's a lot, but uh, we decided to do something different, and uh, we didn't think anybody was home. We didn't hear them come home, and then all of a sudden the closet door opens, and... Uh, boom! But a boom, they caught me. Hey, okay, hey, so hey. so you, so they catch you. You're doing this act of the, your, your girlfriend. You like each other, love each other, whatever. Uh, they kick you out of the house. You have your own place, and they want to come over and talk to you about what you were doing to their daughter? Yeah, I'm kind of scared to go by because their father uh, is kind of a scary guy, so I don't know. Well, I'll tell you do? what you do. I'll tell you what you do. You say, no problem. Why don't we go meet at this restaurant? Uh, here, here's what you do. First of all, you go say, I want to talk. I I would like to talk to you both. And when you get to that restaurant, say, listen, how old is your girlfriend? Uh, she's 26. And how old are you? 26. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. Come on, be a man. Dude, you, yeah. You know, don't. You walk up to him. You say, hey, listen, I'm in love with your daughter. This is what people that are in love do, even though it looks a little bit weird. And they didn't do that in the old country unless they were trying to milk a bull. So um, either either you get used to it and and uh, or but I'm, I, I treat her well. I love her. I take care of her. And that's my intention. And this is what people in those yeah. types of relationships do. Or you just invite them over. You put on some porn and and, and serve them some spaghetti. Ah, that's a good one. I think I'll go with option B over there. Try, right, try option C and go, you know, your daughter's a real gluten. <laughs> I just want to say when people are in love like we're in love, she does that to my thing. <laughs> right, baby? Don't be jealous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Pops, you want a, you want a little <laughs> tutelage? You learn how to huff that thing? <laughs> I bet you she got that from your wife. Best <laughs> of the Dean Blundell Show on 102.1 The Edge. I got my finger on the pulse and my finger somewhere else, too, because of our next guest, Tosca Reno, <laughs> a fitness model. Hello, hey. ma'am. Good morning. Is that finger on me? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> We're going to eat clean and get dirty today, right? I would like to, yeah. yes. You look terrific again. Mm. Wow, you. you brought your two hot daughters, too. That's I pretty did. cool. Hopefully Kelsey and Kirsten. Are they both over 18? 
They are. They yeah. Okay. Right. They can well, stay. I, I must They're be tough, adults. though, having you as a mother. Because you're just so beautiful. <laughs> Is it? There would be a lot of pressure, I would feel like, being a daughter. Yeah, well, let's some, ask. So they're yeah. here. Let's ask. So yeah. your mom's a super hot 53-year-old fitness <laughs> yeah. model. Is it a lot of pressure for you to keep up with her? What's your name? I'm Kelsey. Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, hi Kelsey. Hi, hi. You have a great restaurant, by the <laughs> way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, I love the, the... It sucks that her abs are better than mine. <laughs> and, she's, and what about her ass? Do you ever look at her ass and get upset? Mine's pretty tight, but hers Whoa! is better. <laughs> uh, you're going to you're gonna have to show us. Uh, I don't believe you. And, 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 and your name is again? I'm Kirsten. Kirsten. And is it... You're, you're both very pretty ladies as well. <laughs> and, and very well put together. Do, 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 you, do you ever get upset with your mom when you see her in her bathing suit? Do you go... <clears throat> Yeah, there are times, but we have a lot to look up to. They're they're hot. These girls I know <laughs> they're very attractive. Uh, they all look good. When we all go to Mexico, we call it, we travel with the harem. It's my husband and six women. Oh no, kidding! <laughs> well, at least listen, you guys uh, feel free to watch us uh, skewer your really hot mom yeah. here in a second. Or, or feel free to feel free to take off your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and get comfortable. Yeah, yeah, take yeah. it off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never said that to a woman's <laughs> children before. Um, anyway, I, so the last time you're here. And I wanted yeah. to let everybody know, you gave us this book called The Eat Clean Diet for Men. Right. Now, I started to do it, and, and what are you, two, two and a half weeks, three weeks ago you were here? Yeah, it's been yeah, something like weeks. that. I'm, I've lost almost like 15, 20 pounds. You look amazing. It's that fast. I'm yeah. telling you. Can you eat more and weigh less? Absolutely. Well, see, that's the thing <laughs> is that I'm uh, sneaking some other stuff in there, like some, uh, like, like, uh, like, uh, like wheat germ. But, but that's what you eat. I mean, wheat germ. That's the precursor to testosterone. Vitamin, Is it really? Vitamin E, yes. And it's a known fact if you increase your wheat germ intake. You'd be able to pound? More testosterone. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be able to pound. <laughs> so thank that, you. What, so I wanted to thank you. And if anybody wants to get this book, it is, uh, it, it's terrific. And the, you know what the great part about this book is it's actually fun making the stuff and it all tastes real good too. It's a lot it, of fun. You don't fun. feel like you're cheating yourself at all. The, the Middle Eastern hummus in here has some great flavors in it. I, I almost like it better than regular hummus. I like the man stuff. Do you really? Yeah. Whoa, yeah. what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Toscarino likes the man <laughs> stuff. <laughs> what a scoop. Did you hear that, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Bring it on. Yeah. Uh, well, but but let me let me get your Stop. your your thing here because what what I've noticed as well is that I have um, and I, I want to say this lightly because it's a family program. Um, yeah. Following your diet, I have an increased amount of erections. Okay, so that's exactly it makes sense. When no, it doesn't eat, because well. when you're driving to work and you have a boner for a half hour on the way in at five in the morning, it's really distracting. Especially for the guy in the dump truck looking yeah. down. And that's yeah, not yeah. a Viagra boner, right? No, no, but some of the stuff like tell, tell it's us. It's an eat clean boner. I'm yeah. telling you. <laughs> there you go. That's our next T-shirt. Well, that's that's what she said. <laughs> so so take us through some of the stuff real quick. Okay, my God. Number one, vitamin. C, right? Yeah. It, it's what cleans the pipes. It's what makes everything happen. It keeps you all the all the antioxidants, but it, it keeps you pumping. Right? And it was interesting to learn that a lot. Kiwi, yeah, the broccoli pepper. you said. Which broccoli. Was, yeah. yeah. And broccoli also has vitamin E. Yeah. Vitamin E is important. If you don't eat fats of some sort, you don't have hormones, you don't have a libido, you don't have a sex drive, you don't have an immune system, you have no fun. Mm-hmm. People that don't eat fat, they look kind of crum- grumpy, don't yeah, they? Yeah. So these are the things you need to give yourself a good drive. And if we eat clean, you're pretty much going to get them anyway. It's the refined foods that kills it. Too much alcohol, too much sugar, too much refined foods. So it's so easy. What if you, what if you just stop with the refined foods, keep it up with the alcohol, and maybe sprinkle in some broccoli? Are we good? <laughs> that, okay? that would be a start. Okay, good. Yeah, that would be like a weekend martinis? start. Broccoli-flavored martinis. <laughs> broccoli schnapps. <laughs> but, but here's the fat part. is fun too, right? The coconut oil. you got to do the coconut oil. Have you been doing that? Well, see, I'm, I'm doing the coconut water, but it's the coconut oil. And i got coconut yeah. milk. Is it the same thing? No. Coconut oil. No. Here's get coconut the thing oil. about the oil Where is... Where do you get it? Okay, so you can get it over at... Uh, Loblaws? Loblaws has a, a natural food section, right? Make yeah. sure your coconut oil is virgin. I know yeah. that sounds... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Extra no, virgin, no, right? And no, it's, um, it's creamy, keep it in a, yeah, yeah. Keep it in a dark place. I wouldn't place. do that to it. But the great thing about <laughs> coconut oil is antiviral, antibacterial, but it's also a healthy fat, so it helps build your hormones, which you need. Mm. You need estrogen, testosterone, progesterone. Everybody needs these hormones. So and how much you can use it as a personal lubricant. Oh, you said that. Sorry, back that up. Back that. Rewind, rewind. You can use, uh, so it's good for your boners, good for your heart, good for your hormones, and? Good for personal lubrication. And it tastes good. Todd, let's get some now. It it beats having a cold. (laughs) 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 Uh, The only time this is better is with a sinus infection. (laughs) The good, the bad, and the ugly. 
Really, it's just the bad and the ugly. This is the best of the Dean Blundell Show on The Edge. This is your Edge Files with Dean Blundell on The Edge. We start with a nice news story that there's a hope, medical miracle, hope for people that smell like fish. (laughs) Sorry. New hope for people with uh, trimalethaminuria. It's a oh, disorder yeah. that causes the sufferer to smell like dead fish. Yep. <laughs> really? <laughs> Researchers at Monell Chemical Census Center in Philadelphia uh, got a grant to study a disorder. Scientists believe it could lead to new developments helping control the symptoms of trimethaminuria, otherwise known as TMAO. Thank God. It's known as T-Mau. I can't keep saying that stupid word. (laughs) ABC introduced TV viewers to T-Mau suffer in 2006. Former model and teacher Camille said T-Mau endangered her career. (laughs) This is great. Saying, quote, I was focused on, do I smell? Do I smell like fish? Are they saying things? They whispering? They laughing about my dead fish odor? (laughs) Yes, they were. Yes, we were. I would not stop laughing if I sat next to you. (laughs) Camille said recently she was doing well. There's one thing I've learned since being diagnosed with this dead fish disease. It's that with accurate information. Just dead fish too, eh? Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's what it says. I'm not kidding you. There's new hope. It's called trimethylimiamtmau. T-M-A-U. Uh, where uh, symptoms can be managed. To cha- you got to change your diet and you got to do a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, you smell like dead fish. What an unfortunate, uh, you know. Yeah. It's like she's, you imagine her getting ready for a date with a guy. She's like, I'm just going to put some of this uh, Armani cologne everywhere and just make sure maybe just some extra deodorant underneath it. And, and imagine when, when it came time to do the. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you flexible? <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> your shoulder smells like something else. <laughs> Giving yourself a cold shoulder. <laughs> How do you buy stock in this company, Team oh, Out? I, I don't know. <laughs> an awesome idea, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> you can't be kidding me. Oh, and a Pennsylvania man uh, faces charges after he reportedly uh, sent in a phony gas leak call to the uh, gas company for his girlfriend's apartment, apparently in an effort to reveal the other man he believed she was hiding inside. You know, if your spouse is having an affair, let it go. Although this is pretty funny. The 36-year-old dude was charged with a false alarm to public safety agency. Uh, false identification officers responded to the gas leak Saturday. Apparently, the police said a woman in the apartment told officers she didn't report the leak, but that her boyfriend had recently stopped by a residence attempted to get inside. When she wouldn't let him in, he tried to enter by force and told her he would call the gas company. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna do something like this, don't warn people you're going to yeah. do no, it. No, you just do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't tell people about the bomb threat to get out of school or let me you in. Know, don't let ever me do in. That. No. Well, I'm gonna call the gas company and fake a leak. <laughs> Damn, do you know what happened? Yeah, he just told me what he's gonna do. So yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, he but. Did. Uh, but the good news was is that he was sort of right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the man actually admitted there was no gas leak, but uh, apparently when the two people, because when you, when you report a gas leak, you got to get everybody out and they got to go and do a check. Uh, well, when the girl came out with the guy and he was only wearing a pair of sweatpants, the guy's just standing over the police car going, See, I told you. Uh, I told you. And you got arrested, so enjoy. <laughs> I love it. Now Let's, he'll be the other man in jail. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah, know yeah. if it's worth it. Yeah, yeah. Someone hurry, pull the fire alarm. It stings. Yeah. <laughs> right. I got a gas leak. Somebody, I got a leak. <laughs> yeah, I got a gas. More than a gas leak. I think he drew mud. Oh. <laughs> Those are your edge files. Whatever the hell day it is. In, uh, see, it's true. We said it before. You're thinking of doing something illegal. Yeah, Just think th- two words. Prison rape, friends. <laughs> Those are your edge files. Whatever the hell day it is. In March year 2012. The Edge Files on 102.1. The Edge. Edge. Best of. Get your best of right here. This is the best of the Dean Blundell Show on 102.1. The Edge. You know when you have a friend, you think it's a friend of yours. I guess you think, yeah, it's a good guy. It's a buddy of yours. And then you find out. They pork your woman. They've tried to pork your woman. Wow. And then you realize that person really isn't your friend anywhere. They're just a dirtbag. 
Yeah. Yeah. So Todd went out on the street. Yeah. <laughs> You feel better? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm fine. just joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I did, and uh, I wouldn't say there are a lot of dirt bags, but there are a lot of dirt and a lot of bags. <laughs> 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 and while they were there, I asked them about the weather. All right. <laughs> Tied on the street. Hearing what the people say. Tied on the street. street. Can I ask you about your day? You enjoying no, the weather? No, everything's shitty. I'm loving the weather. Are you all right? Not too bad. Yeah. Nice weather. <laughs> just sitting around in the sun and uh, just relaxing. Yeah. Okay, do you have to work today, though? No. No, I'm I'm retired. <laughs> nice spring day? Yeah, nice summer day. Do you know the date today? Uh, I think it was the 7th. Okay, what month? February. Sorry? February. Okay. I'm really... Sorry. Enjoying your day, sir. Tired. What? Tired. What are you going to do today? Sleep. What are you up to today? Well, I like a nice veal, like uh, from California's veal. Nice veal sandwich. And um, yeah, I'm going to just uh, go browsing. You're not working today? Hey. Oh, no, no, no. How you doing today, man? Are you all right? I'm alive. Great day, eh? Yeah, bad. What are you going to be doing today? Drinking beer. Oh. And you, sir? I'm not talking. Okay. <laughs> what a day. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. What are you doing today? I'm panhandling. What are you going to do with the money you get? Oh, probably catch something to eat and a few beers on the side. How many did you go out? Uh, 12, 14. Any ladies lately? Uh, no, not lately. When's the last time you had a little poon tank? 1965. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 1987. Oh, sorry. 1987. That long, eh? Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Going to the doctor's office later on this afternoon. Yeah. Good day to do that. They're not beautiful asses. Sir? <laughs> They're beautiful asses on these young chicks there. Too bad, it's too bad I'm a senior citizen because if I was younger, <laughs> they'd, get a, they'd get their money's worth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Well, I mentally f- as they walk by. <laughs> and you, man, what are you up to? How much? No. Same thing. You gonna get a boner? Sure, why not? Okay, I'm leaving then. And you, you gonna get a boner? Piss hard on. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are beauties. What are you up to today? I have to try to get my check. That was okay, What about the nice day? What are you gonna do for the day? Play with my little friends, the squirrels, and try to bless everything. Make sure the little ones are all taken care of. Their favorite name is Tessa. Okay, thanks, man. <laughs> nice day, huh? What are you doing today? I'm just sitting here and trying to be as natural as possible. Well, some people don't like me when I... Well, I say weird things to them like, Hello! Hello! Is there anybody home? Hello! Hello! I can't understand why they... They get so disgruntled when I... Go, hello. <laughs> hello there. Beautiful, huh? Real nice. Real what are you doing today? I'm just uh, talking to some friends right now. Some people on the frigates. Well, I'm talking to the frigates right now, actually. Uh, You're talking to who? The frigates, uh, the ships, our, our uh, um, Navy ships. Okay, they're ships right now. Yeah, they're ships. Yeah, there's people on the ship? Yeah, I met them yeah, years ago, but I'm and not. They're right here. I'm not sure where they are now. How's your day going, man? Well, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that it's too strong for me. Thanks. Go, 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 go. Who else are you talking about? Uh, right now I'm talking to one of either the space stations or space lab. There's 22 that I know of that are up there. We're hooking up together to see what we could find out. Because we're trying to find out how do we find the lawyers that we seem to be missing. Some, there's got to be somewhere that can bring these papers to people. Now, we know some people got them earlier, but they're from other countries. We seem to be having a problem in Canada locating the people we're trying to find. So I'm not sure why or where, but somehow we'll find them. Uh, so I'm not sure where she disappeared to. She might have to make a few trips around the planet because I had stuff all over the damn place I heard. But uh, yeah, things are going to work out good. I just bought another castle here a minute ago. They got two of them. There. What a castle. Uh, two of them. Are you the king? Sure. Yeah, I named this friend Chip. Okay, okay he said uh, that's the button you push for the light, right? Uh, no, this hold the brain. Uh, Chip, yeah. Okay, Chip's a good guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. You and Chip enjoy the day. Yeah, you too. Ask people about the weather. Are you enjoying your day? I I'm uh, Logan. Sorry? I'm Logan. De- the weather. Ah. You're enjoying the day today. Enjoying your day? Yeah. Not bad. What's your favorite part about today? I love looking at 
when titties dicks, man. Tied on the street. Tied on the street. This is the best of the Dean Blundell show. On the edge. The one that really got me was this uh, this woman I saw the other day who uh, eats uh, the remains of her dead husband. Anyway, this uh, it's actually sad. It's, it, so I'm watching this. I'm thinking, oh, I'm so sad for this woman. But then I watch what she does at the end of this clip, and you, you, you won't believe it. At least I don't. I just think dead people's ashes are for, you know, shelves. Even that is creepy. Or mausoleums. <laughs> That's yeah. still weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put yeah. them in a mausoleum. <laughs> Get them off the shelf. Yeah. That's too high. If that falls, it's a big mess. Oh, come on. You ever dropped a thousand Skittles? It's tough to clean up. <laughs> anyway, this is it. Her husband's dead. Just letting you know. And she doesn't even cry in the whole thing, but what she does with his ashes will make you puke. My name is Casey. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Fayetteville, Tennessee and I'm addicted to carrying around my husband's urn. Now, her husband's name wasn't Urn. <laughs> hey, Urn. <laughs> What's going on, Ernie? You know, coincidence, say, eh? if a guy named Ernie was buried in an urn. Or is Urn? He's in the sure urn. Sure, it's happened. Yeah, I bet it has. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, her husband's urn has his ashes. I take my husband everywhere, to the grocery store, shopping. Ooh, babe, look at that, that's neat. What? Yeah, that's different too. The movies. Outfit. She's talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> she like she expects the something in the box. Like maybe they didn't quite burn his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, neat. <laughs> <laughs> the lid opens. If I'm watching TV, he's there with me. You want to watch this? <laughs> if some like she expects says, hey. him to go. Yeah, yeah baby. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Thank you. Love would, Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, snap. I thought she quit. <laughs> Who is that? I'm like, oh, this is my husband. Some people laugh. They think what? I'm playing. But, it, I mean, it's serious. That's my husband. What? Casey and Sean were married in 2009. Ah, uh, this is the sad crap. Yeah. Months. Who cares? No. Everything Perfect I had marriage. ever wanted in a man yeah. was right in front sure, of me. Sure and was. it felt so great. I know they it did. They fell in love and... But soulmates from day one. Mm-hmm. Soulmates from day the one. The two and a half years that they were together, I think, was the only time Casey was truly, truly happy. <laughs> Maybe Ern wasn't having such a great no, time. he's not there to defend himself. <laughs> yeah. And she can ask him yeah. and think he might be. But At some no. point, you expected the box in the interview to go, <laughs> yeah, wasn't that good. No. <laughs> <laughs> Asthma attack, you more like choke myself out. <laughs> Y'all, you'll never guess how he died here. Until Until Sean suffered a severe oh, asthma sorry. attack asthma. two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor came in, and the look on his face was telltale. It was the day, the day my world stopped turning. The day my life fell apart. Oh, baby, I miss you. Though Casey initially found comfort by having her husband's ashes at her side, this is gross. Her addiction <laughs> has recently evolved. <sighs> I guess with the transfer of his cremains, you know, some got into the cardboard box as well, and they spilled out on my hands. Cause I, that's my husband, I don't wanna wipe him away. Um, so I just licked it off my fingers. Oh. And here I am today, almost two months later, and I can't stop. It's a sweet picture of her sitting in her bed. Ew, no, she's not. Yeah, just having a snack. <sighs> Her fingers in her mouth. You, you, you know, you, if they didn't see a box of ashes, and if she was better looking, you'd go, ooh, good start to a porn. <laughs> is she all right looking? No. Okay. No, I said if she was better looking. No, but I mean, is she all right? I'm eating there? my husband. Can you believe that crap? I don't even want to. She's eating her husband. So crazy. His ashes. She's <sighs> eating him. This should be illegal. She should be put it away. It is illegal. You're not supposed to. It's, yeah. It's the, rema- uh, the, the what do you call that? The, uh, the not being nice to the remains of a dead person or something. Can't remember. Just, I don't know. Not being nice to him. <laughs> Unlawful something. Yeah. With the remains of some dead guy. I believe that's the technical term. I think it sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah. That. You're not allowed eating them or yeah. doing anything else with them. Just yeah. Them on a shelf you can't huff lock. them. You can't yeah. put them in banana bread. You can't do any of that stuff. You cannot eat dead people. 
Oh, there was a guy who put him in the chili though once. Yeah, that's that was true. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. These are three guys, yeah. three gay guys. <laughs> they all the funeral home, all their spouses died. Other yeah. guys. They're all commiserating. So the one gay guy looks at the other gay guy. He's crying. He's like, hey, what happened? What are you going to do with the ashes? He goes, oh, I'm going to bury him at sea. Because we love the ocean. <laughs> He looks at the next guy and he says, what are you going to do with your bo- husband's ashes? He goes, oh, I'll bury him under a tree. We like t- trees. <laughs> looks at the third guy and says, what are you going to do with your husband's ashes? Mm-hmm. He goes, well, I'm going to put him in the chili so you can tear me up one last time. <laughs> true story? Yeah, true, yeah, that's a true, true story. You know that. Indignities to a dead body. That was it. Okay. Some copper just emailed me. That's the word. Is it uh, what depends on what you put him in, I guess. You know, it's an indignity if you sprinkle them into like a meat pie, but if you put them in banana bread, hey, okay. Not so bad? No. Because it's like tasty and yep. sugary? Makes you feel good. Yeah. Can you do a fun dip with it? Totally. <laughs> Get a little stick, put them yeah. in a fun dip. Yeah. Mm. Takes the bitter taste of human ashes away. The Dean Blundell Show, 102.1 The Edge.